Hey guys, it's Brian with Live Life Simple. I've been looking for a wood stove for my shop for a while, um, but I had some criteria I wanted to reach. I wanted something that was pretty good quality, something that was efficient, and uh, today we're gonna go over the Liberator Rocket Stove. If you're a prepper or a homesteader, or maybe you use a wood stove for your shop, to heat your shop, uh, you've probably heard of rocket stoves before, but this is kind of a rocket stove meant for uh, mass heating, like a home or a shop, so we're gonna get into this today we're gonna to do a review of it and unboxing if you've been looking for a wood stove I'm going to show you why you should consider the Liberator rocket stove So first off, I was really pleasantly surprised when this showed up the other day because it comes in this nice crate uh, that, that's custom made for this stove. It's obviously very well packed. It's always nice to know that the company that's shipping this uh, cares enough to, to wanna get this to you safe. They actually ship these for free. So first and foremost, this is, as far as I know, the only rocket mass heater like this that's UL listed, which means your insurance company will like you a little bit more than using an unauthorized version of this. The second really big plus of a rocket stove is they are ultra efficient. If you dig into some of the reviews and comments from people that use this stove, they end up using about a quarter to a third of the amount of wood they used in their old style wood stove. This stove is also EPA approved and I think that a big reason why this is EPA approved is because it is so much more efficient. So the Liberator also has these fresh air intakes on each side, that will help with efficiency. We're gonna talk about that a little bit later. So what that means is it's costing you less money to use it. And then that kind of leads us into the third big advantage of a rocket stove is you can use multiple types of fuel. You can burn wood pellets in here, you can burn twigs, you can burn little sticks. Uh, it's, just, it's just a lot more accommodating for the type of wood source or fuel source that you need. So I'm gonna open up the rest of what's in all of this packaging. Then we'll take a first look at what is all included with the purchase of this rocket stove. So there it is, all unboxed. One of the big advantages of a mass heater is that you can heat other things. So you can put things on top, you can put things along you know, the exhaust and things like that to, to more maximize your heat and how long it's gonna stay hot. And this top part is nice and flat, so you can utilize that for big pots and pans if you wanna cook on top of it. The Liberator is also made in the USA, which is pretty tough to come by these days. Every single nut and bolt, every single weld is done by American. So not only is it 100% made in the USA, which is almost unheard of, but it also has a limited lifetime warranty. To me, having a lifetime warranty speaks to the company and that they stand behind their product. They're making a quality product. So the base model, it's gonna come with a little push rod to push stuff down this little chute right here into the fire chamber. From this little door right here, you can push, or you can also use it to pull debris out. And if you're new to this type of wood stove, it also comes with a manual. How about that? One of the other things I pulled out was this lid. So depending on what you're using for your fuel source, if you were using twigs, sticks, they would go down into there. And that's gonna be all there is to that, unless you wanna burn pellets and then you can upgrade to the pellet hopper. So if you wanna burn wood pellets, you fill up this hopper with pellets. There's a little flow control valve right here. That's gonna adjust in here. You're gonna add in your included pellet grate. That's gonna slide right into there. And then your stove's just gonna burn pretty much on auto feed. It doesn't need any kind of electricity, doesn't need augers, none of that stuff. So I mentioned that you could increase the efficiency also by fresh air intakes. That means you would wanna pull fresh air from the inside. There's one of these intakes on both sides of this. And you could actually run ducting or hose or whatever uh, out into fresh air that would draw in fresh air. And the company claims that this makes the stove about 5% more efficient, which I suppose would add up quite a bit over time. Before I get too far into this, I wanna mention this is the newest version that's coming out. So if you've seen Liberators in the past, this might have a few different things that are, are different. This is gonna be available December 18th of this year. 
Two more things I want to cover real quick before we go into our test burn. The first being something that I thought was kind of interesting. They actually offer this in eight different colors. Uh, I've never seen another wood burning stove that has a color choice. That's not for everyone, but sometimes a wood stove can be kind of an eyesore in a room. So you could get a, a different color that matched something else. The second thing is the dimensions and the weight of this to see if it's even gonna work for your situation. So crated, this weighs 300 pounds. Uh, the stove just by itself weighs 165 pounds. And then if you get the hopper upgrade, it's another 36 pounds. So the width of this, which is actually gonna be from this angle, is gonna be 16 inches wide. That's not gonna change uh, with or without the hopper. The depth of this from the very tip to this point all the way back to the tip of the exhaust is about 27 and a half inches. If you include all the way from the front of this hopper back to the back of that exhaust, it's gonna be closer to 32 inches. The height without the hopper is about 37 inches. If you do the hopper upgrade, you're closer to 45 inches. I think we've covered just about everything about this stove that I can other than how to get it. We're gonna cover that at the end of the video. So I think it's time to give it a test burn. So lighting this rocket stove is just a little bit different than probably what you're used to. So you're gonna start off with three oblong or cigar shaped pieces of paper and then some twigs that are eighth of an inch or less in diameter. And then you're just gonna kinda of keep stepping up to bigger sticks until you get to your fuel wood. So you're gonna to wanna to take the chamber door off as well as the lid for your chute. We're gonna stick in our first piece of paper. We're gonna light it, push it back to the back of that chamber. And then put your door back on. We're gonna go down the top with one of the pieces of paper, followed by a handful of twigs. And then we're gonna light this third piece of paper throw that down there, put our lid back on. And then once this starts to warm up, we're just gonna start feeding down our next size sticks. It's gonna gravity feed them down as it needs them. You can see we're already smoking. All right, well that was pretty easy, pretty painless. Uh, I wanna mention this is the Model 2. This is coming out December 18th. I think it's on pre-sale right now, uh, December 18th of this year. And I wanna thank the, the folks at Liberator because they actually allowed me to give you guys a discount code. So you can follow the link that I have right here on the screen and then I'll put it down in the description too. You can follow that link to their website, give them the promo code. I think this thing's gonna give me a lot of nice warm winters in the shop and uh, I'm really looking forward to getting it hooked up. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. In the meantime, Mr. Retired at 40, remember to live life simple and we'll catch you next week.